the old style of the family physician who was in a rural area, who took out the appendix, delivered the baby, you know, took care of people as they aged, knew everybody in the town. It's still a wonderful model, but it's not going to work. We have so many more pharmaceuticals available. We have different kinds of treatments available. We need to work in groups of people to share information. Now, people who are in solo practice can do this by still being in solo practice, but working with others in their community. And some of this may be done through uh, electronic uh, mechanisms. We can do so much um, through the internet. We can do so much through video conferencing. So we can do a lot of things to keep people up to date with the information they may need. But in the end, one suspects that truly independent uh, solo practice uh, will not be the model of care that's provided for most patients in the country. And I'm not saying that, that these people don't provide the very best care. I think they do, but it's getting increasingly difficult for them to do that. And they're finding that getting together with other equally minded physicians and healthcare professionals really allows them to provide the care they really want to give um, in a setting that's much more efficient and effective for patients.